This is the great VideoMaker Pro YU150R and to make it simpler it's a 150 watts complete RGB slash CCT slash effects panel. And we have a lot to talk. I'm your host Mauro and yes GVM sent me this panel to actually check it out, make a review and understand if this panel will be making in my production and also if it will be suitable for your production. So let's get started. You get this light delivered in a really heavy duty hard case built like a tank with 4 locks, heavy duty in mind. And you kind of need it, cause the weight of this panel is 3.5 kilos and it will be really easy to carry it around with this case. Inside you'll find the GVM panel, instruction label, frame for the softbox, double V-mount battery cable option. Ok so let's get straight to some of the specs. There are 1060 lamp beds inside the panel, with the color index of 97, 17200 looks at 0.5 meters or 4640 looks at 1 meter distance. Let's have an outside look. The complete body is made out of metal, with high quality metal handle to control and direct the light. On the back there is the power supply port, the DC input 24 to 36 volts and when you connect the cable that requires actually two V-mount batteries. You get incorporated the V-mount battery slots so you will be having a neat system to work off grid. Remember at full 150 watt power you can run down your battery pretty quickly. On the top there is the standard DMX in and out port. On the back you'll find also the control knobs and buttons with a great color screen. Actually amazing to see the color screen in this price range. And yes we will be presented by the options, CCT, 2000 kelvins up to 10000 kelvins, really warm tones for that super cold white tones. HSI full control of the scale with the saturation and intensity. Full RGB control with the selection of all of the studio gels rotating the knob. Source mode to mimic some of the lamps. Sodium, studio lamp, halogen, candlelight, sunset, sunrise, daylight, overcast sky and CFL cool white. There are also some great effects to choose. Lightning, CCT loop, candle, bed bulb, paparazzi, explosion, pulsing, disco, cop car, party and hue. In the menu settings you will be able to select DMX features, dimming curve, bluetooth settings, studio mode, frequency settings depending on your region, fan speed settings, language and system settings. You can operate the GVM Pro also with a great GVM smartphone app and yes I like it a lot cause it's really well laid out and it's simple to use. You'll have a great complete layout for all the features and control them with your finger. It's possible to control all the features on the control panel but it's a more convenient way if you have the light mounted on your ceiling or not able to reach it with your hand. And also you can make multiple groups of lights and control the groups separately for bigger productions and studios. With added frame you will be able to mount the softbox in seconds and get a smooth soft light out of it. Ok so as you turn on the lights the fan will start automatically to cool down the lights. And I didn't notice that you can actually turn off completely the fans but there are just 3 modes. Smart, silent and high. If doing some close up recording with your microphones you can actually hear some small buzz wind noise from the coolers. But I can't actually record them on my microphone, I just heard them. And if you turn this panel on that side the actual sound will be washed out on that side and you will not be able to pick up anything on the microphone even if it's kind of straight half a meter distance. So you are pretty fine. This is great for your studio. One big thing to note about the panel is the actual weight. It's just for the panel 3.5 kilos. And I recommend to carry it with the case that came with it. The design is really well thought with this great GVM logo flashing on the back and this beautiful red paint on the back. And now let's go for the test made in my studio. Softbox used with 1.5 meter distance. RGB no diffusion, with diffuser no softbox. Actually pretty neat. 
the complete adapter and power system is built in so you just have a cable and you don't have a big chunky adapter tangling around one thing that i don't like is the actual dc input and it's actually just too far on this side and it's kind of hard to wind it in because this handle just gets in the way a little they could have put it kind of here in the middle and then the winding would be actually easier and better but rather than that i didn't find any other things to complain the price point for this light is just 700 usd and when you think about it you get the complete hard case with all the rgb and effects options and you can't really get lower in price for a complete metal build quality package for under 700 usd actually this is a really great value for money i can fully recommend this light if you need a heavy sturdy workhorse if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i will be happy to answer to all of them until my next one thumbs up if you liked it subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time i make a new video and see you on my next one Thank <laughs> you.